Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me for episode two as part of our Con Mario series. Well, as you can see, I'm in a completely different background because I have moved house and I sold everything that didn't spark joy and this is, I've got two pieces of new furniture, I've got a new couch and I've got a new um, TV but I don't have a TV yet and I have nothing else to, um, decorated with just yet but it's coming because I'm trying to find the items that truly spark joy. Oh my gosh, this Conmari method has been such a whirlwind and it has been amazing. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of a background footage um, because I actually moved house and I wanted to show you the process of how difficult it is to let go of things that no longer spark joy because of the emotional and sentimental attachments to these items and the history that has come with them and the stories. It was really difficult, there was a lot of tears involved, but I captured one day um, where I was selling a whole heap of my furniture when I moved from the Gold Coast. I now live in the Sunshine Coast, um, and it is beautiful, this place truly sparks joy. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of a background. It's like a raw uncut version, it's me without no makeup, literally just talking to the camera and be like, oh my god, this just happened. Anyways, my love, I hope you enjoy it, and we continue to make better choices, and I'll see you at the end of the video. Well, my loves, it's been a little bit of a teary morning because we're selling a lot of our stuff today that no longer sparks joy. Check out the state of my living room right now. Look at this. I used to love this. But now I have both of them. <laughs> Couch, which is for free. Picked it up on the curbside collection. Paintings. I used to wear loads of gold, but... This is all that's left out of my collection. I had it was like dripping in diamonds. I mean dripping. Look at this. This one's now going. Couch is now going. Airbed's going because we're getting a new couch for our visitors. Desk is going. Juice is gone. I don't juice. It takes too long to clean. This is going because I'm manifesting a new bike. I'm getting rid of my road bike and getting another one. This retro chair came with the house, don't like it. Don't need this. Getting rid of the dining room table. The house we're moving into is super modern, so we don't need that. And the bookshelf. Um, Peter's getting rid of his car today. We're selling a chest of drawers in our bedroom. So many changes. It has been emotional. I cried over the car when he said, oh honey, I'm taking the car now. It won't be coming back. And I cried because I was like, oh my God, we had our first date in that car. We pulled up to like a side of this beautiful mountain and had a picnic and like lay down the back of the car. It was like so romantic. I was like, why am I crying over a car? I think it's the fact that it's like change is happening and, and just letting go. Like these things in here, none of this is like truly valuable but the memories attached to it is what is super tricky super duper tricky anyways my love i gotta keep going i've had to like put labels can you see the couch on like all this stuff so i know when people come because there's so many people coming at different times it just means that I've asked for change and it's happening and that this is like the messy time which is going to bring me to completion and what I want and I can't wait to show you. We're moving house by the way, I don't know if I made that clear. We're moving into a brand new house which I'm so excited about. It's going to be our own house and not a share house because share house don't spark joy for me anymore. <sighs> Should we say goodbye to the house because we're moving next week. Goodbye house. That sparks joy. Oh, where is it? This one? I can't point. This one sparks joy. The other thing we're really keeping is our fridge and the bed. Oh, let me show you in the bedroom. Da -da -da. Do you want to see my drawers? I won't show you my underwear drawer. I don't think that's really appropriate, but look at this. Look at that, my loves. Yep, and that is a vegan shirt. That's another vegan shirt. And then, let's look at this one. Like, look at this. This sparks joy folding like this. I now have an empty shelf here. Oh, see, this is Australian money. Oh, upside down. 
It's not about the money, money, money. Um, it's not about the money because it's what sparks joy. Um, let me see my cupboard. That's it. That is everything that needs to be hung up. That's it. And really, the only things that I will be wearing like right now is this small stuff. Or my dresses. This is all like winter stuff, which you won't really need. But oh, how cute is this dress? That sparks joy. It is a pain in the bum because you have to iron it and I don't really own. This dress sparks joy, massive joy. Now this skirt. This skirt makes me feel like I'm a Kardashian. What? This one sparks joy. It was the first one I ever bought that shows my belly, which was massive. I never thought I'd ever have a shirt that just, um, I showed my belly, but I like it. I'm down to one bag. And I like that my handbag here has its own little clothing rack and then have my tripods for film. Love these shoes. My hammock in there. <sighs> my bed, minus this pillow because I couldn't put it out um, at the front because everyone else is going to buy everything there. But I love my bed. Got to get higher lamps because I was doing some interior design <laughs> um, work and I found out that having um, low lamps is bad feng shui. They're out of proportion. Not bad feng shui. Bad interior design because it's not in proportion. But anyway, I've got to be real quick because I've got a dude coming to pick up these beautiful chest of drawers. Which no longer spark joy because they don't fit in with our new house loving the lighting situation right here i'm makeup free and i feel amazing and look getting into the self-love practices a little bit of hannah i also which i found was really hard is i got rid of um all my fake fingernails they're in the bin see my nails how small they are i have been biting my nails since i can remember and I've been wearing fake nails for ages, 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 and ages. And I said to Peter the other day, I was like, yesterday, I was like, they don't spark joy. I want my own nails to spark joy. I don't want to have fake things on me. And it's embarrassing that like when they fall off and you're like, oh, excuse me, I just got to pick up my nail. Um, it's hard. It's really hard. What else have I been struggling with? This is not easy. Paper work was tricky on the computer. Pictures on Facebook. Now that was a tricky one. I didn't realize that that, um, I don't know. I never, I don't add anyone onto my Facebook, my private Facebook. It's literally like I've got 160 friends. So if you add me, I won't add you back. It's not a personal thing. I just don't like everyone knowing my business. I feel like I put enough of myself online. So there's things that I like to keep private. Well, in a public realm if that makes any sense um so yeah i deleted lots of my pictures because i had pictures from 2009 when i moved to england it was me being drunk and feral and disgusting and they didn't spark joy for me anymore so i've only got pictures on there that spark joy from beautiful memories yeah there's some pictures on there from when i was overseas but they're just the ones that spark joy um what else the bikes look at this i've got to go outside This is my bike. That used to spark joy. It does a little bit, but not too much for the fact that I'm just going to sit out here and chat to you. Um, that I want a cruiser bike because I I'm going to be moving like 10 minutes from the beach where I can cycle and the road bikes don't really cut it. I tried it, I gave it a go, I liked it, but I don't love it right now, so it doesn't spark joy, which was massive because I paid like $800 for that bike. So, let's see what else we have. Don't see you, oh, let me show you. I don't know how clean it is in here, but I got a new dish rack because the old one doesn't spark joy. Look at my cutlery. 
everything from the washing up isn't technically there, but like there's like five of everything. Look at this one over here. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, we haven't put everything away yet. It's still in the drying rack, but I've got like four of everything. These spark joy only for Instagram pictures and ebook <laughs> shots, but I don't really drink out of them. And let's look up here. Oh yeah, it's just four of everything. <sighs> what else? My cupboard's pretty bare. It's pretty hard to show you in here, but I'm pretty neat. There's like not much stuff. Peter and I don't really use very much. <laughs> we just mainly eat fresh stuff. Oh, look at this. Do you remember this cup? It's still on the drying rack because I just used it. That still sparks joy. I love that one. Anyway, I'm getting a sore arm holding all of this. But as you can see, it's been, um, it's not easy to get rid of things that don't spark joy. And a lot of my friends and family are like, you own nothing, this would be easy for you. I'm like, but what I own has, is special to me or was special to me. So making peace with it and saying, thank you, thank you, thank you for providing me gratitude at this time, but it's now time for me to say goodbye. And I want all my stuff to go to beautiful people. And if I can't sell it, cause I don't think it's worth very much, then I'm giving it to um, the recycle center down the road, which I love going into by the way. So many good finds. But that's it guys, it's hard, it's so hard, but it is so worth it. And I can't wait to show you part two when I'm in my, when we're in our new house, our first home that's not a share house or a family home with my mom and dad. So this is a big deal, this is a massive big deal. I was like, shit, I just paid bond today and two weeks rent in advance. We have a brand new house, like what? I think the law of attraction helped us massively with this in visualization. I'll make a video on that to help you guys, but I just wanted to give you an update of where I am. So this is like part one. I didn't actually film for you um, the process of going through and decluttering like what sparks joy and what needs to go um, because I didn't intend to film this and put it on YouTube. It was just like a labor of love and a, like a test for me, but I'm still going through this and from all the money that we are making from selling all our stuff, we'll be able to buy stuff that sparks joy. And for most people, you would look in this living room and you'd be like, what? Why don't you just take that to your new place? Well, I'm actually prepared to sit on the floor without a couch or a dining room table for as long as it takes until I find something that sparks joy because it'd be more of a um, accomplishment or more, I don't know, it would just be something that's just, you know, like when, like when I first bought my Mac, it was like three grand for a Mac. I was like, holy shit. I treat that thing with so much love and care and it truly sparks joy because I, I used to have a HP and the keys always failed and it was just awful. I had to like have a USB attachment keyboard to be able to type and to have a keyboard that just types and is amazing, like that sparks joy. It was truly worth me saving up that money to be able to have something that sparks joy. So I just wanted to remind you to make sure you follow the Kamari method, read the book or listen to the ebook. Well, my loves, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry the last bit of the footage cut out, my phone died and it wasn't happening. But I just wanted to remind you to please follow the Komari method. Give it a go. It is going to be absolutely amazing. It's gonna change your life and it is really going to increase your happiness in everything that you own, the friends that you keep, the job that you work out. And uh, it's really, really beautiful. Anyways, my love, just wanted to remind you to continue to make better choices. And I will see you next episode. I love you so much. Goodbye.